What's going on, everybody? Movie fan I'm here because I'm joined by my lovely girlfriend, Maya. And, uh, oh, excuse me. My collection of movies. As you can see down below, it is the uh, DVD update video. And, uh, yes, uh, this edition is very heavily Maya picks. It was uh, her birthday uh, earlier, uh, back middle of the month yeah. in January. And uh, see, for our anniversary and for Christmas, she got me a gift card each time, the family video. Or you got a gift card the first time, then gave me the cash the second time, and which I loved. And whenever I'm picking out movies, she was like, you should pick this one out. And I'm like, no, I'm picking my movies out. Fuck you and your movies. So her, uh, or, yeah, her birthday rolls around. So I go ahead and uh, we do the same thing. So we go up to the uh, Half Price Bookstore, which really tore me up because we get up there and typically got high prices. So I was like, yay, well, she ain't going to get much. She's going to get like three or four movies tops. Uh, they had everything for a dollar. Like it was just like this fucking store-wide sale. And I'm like, son of a bitch. And sure enough, we got fucked hardcore. So uh, I paid a couple this month, but uh, mostly these are hers. So all righty, let's start this shit train. We've got Bewitched. I haven't seen it. I I'm not looking forward like to it. it. Well, we know you liked it. You bought I it. I did once. I, 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 that's how I'm going to finish that one up. I don't know. Uh, we got Big Eyes. I just don't care. I really don't. Oh, big deal. She's paying. She ain't getting the credit for it. Fuck you, bitch. Guess what? It's the old days. Women don't have no rights. So guess what? You just be lucky that this man's taking care of you. And it's Christoph Waltz. And he's charming. Suck a dick. Fuck you, Tim Burton, for making something shit like that. And I can't sit there. Oh, my God. Well, I picked up the Blu-ray of The Boy Next Door. They didn't have the DVD. Oh, my God. Horrible. One, one of the worst movies of the year last no, year. No, it's not. It's her favorite. It is my least favorite. Or not my least favorite, but it's down there pretty fucking low. It's just bad. What we got here? Confessions of a Drama Queen? Teenage, Teenage Drama, drama Queen? queen. They had the sticker right over that. All right, we got date night. Now, if you would have got me before I watched it, I would have threw it to the side. Uh, it wasn't bad. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I don't like Tina Fey, and this did not hit my mind on her. I thought she was dreadful in this. Like, just did not think she was that funny at all. Steve Carell, he he was like busting out an Evan Almighty performance. But what I liked about it was. The comedy, like not necessarily their stick, like whenever they would do shit, I didn't care for that. But it just seemed like it was all super grounded in reality. Like it all seemed like they were in, in very much danger. Like you, you knew they were going to make it to the end and it was going to be a happy ending and whatnot. But it's still, like when you're watching it, you're like, no, I can see this actually happening and this can actually go bad for them. Uh, and I enjoyed it. I, I liked uh, Mark Wahlberg's part in it. And there's a lot, a lot of uh, small cameos in this I really dug. So, uh, so yeah, I'll get that one. This is why I picked up the original. Oh, yeah, that's the one I, I, I skipped on. Well, I'll see if I skipped on my other one then, too, because it wasn't yours. Oh, John. This one here. Oh, yeah. Yep, there it is. Uh, this is a Godzilla, King of uh, King of the Monsters, King of All Monsters. I don't fucking know. King of the Monsters. Uh, I've only seen this once or twice, and I watched it when I was a kid. I was a huge uh, not just Godzilla fan, but just monster, big monster movie fan in, in general. Uh, haven't seen a lot of those in fucking. Oh, it, 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 you can say decades now. You can literally say de say decades. So I haven't seen these in decades. Plural, easily twenty years. Um, but yeah, found it. And it was a. Uh, I think they had they had thing like two for three bucks. So, like you know what? I better pick it up now. Or I'll regret it. Good luck, Chuck. It's a good movie. Yeah. We got the double feature, uh, How to Deal and Raise Your Voice. I only got it for because of, for this one. Yeah, that, no, this one. Raise Your Voice? Yeah. I'm going to raise my voice in a second. All right, what else we got here? We got How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. This is during my fuck Matthew McConaughey period, and I will still probably stand by that. Marley and Me. Oh, boy. What a happy, fun-loving movie this is. I bet this one won't have a tear-jerking ending at the end. Does Owen Wilson finally kill himself in this? No. I can't remember if it was after this or after Drill Bit Taylor. I just remember immediately afterwards was whenever he was, uh, you know, hospitalized or whatever for attempted suicide. And I'm just thinking, you know, buddy, you keep making shitty movies like this. 
I don't blame you. I would kill myself too. Uh, sorry. Uh, anyways, uh, this is the other one I picked up. Uh, Monsters Dark Continent. Uh, literally, this was a shit. I got some money to burn, and there's no movies that I want in the band. They had Godzilla, and I wanted it. And I was like, and of course it was, you know, two for three. And I was like, oh, fuck. All right, so I'm looking around, trying to find, you know, because it was two for three or uh, one for two dollars. So it's makes sense to get the third one, you know, two for three. So I'm looking around, and I could not find a single fucking thing I wanted. And, and then so I got Monster Star Continent. So uh, I saw the trailer, and I wasn't, like, super thrilled on the trailer, but two for three, guys. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Uh, I was highly surprised by this. We, we rented it. Oh, that's right. Yeah, this was my first time watching it. Yeah, I watched it before. Uh, that's why we watched the special features. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, we, uh, I forgot about that. Yeah, we watched it, uh, December. was it last year? Yeah, be, I think in December. I can't remember, but yeah, we watched it and we uh, review on her channel. So if you want to hear me go completely blowing on this thing, check out her channel, look for the review. Uh, but yeah, no, I was very surprised by this. I'm very surprised. I feel like this is what Killers tried to be and failed miserably. Uh, Brad Pitt's just charming, though. I don't care. It sounds good. Next is... Uh, this is actually one that I bought her. I didn't... Uh, this wasn't one I gave her cash to go buy herself. I bought her this myself. Uh, Trail of Liars, Season 5. Uh, who am I bullshit? I didn't buy it for her. I bought it for me. Uh, <laughs> well, we are until the next one, so we got all the Trail of Liars now, so... Uh, we got Prime, which she got because you get your yeah. unit, right? Yeah, review coming yeah. up, so, so, but I wouldn't have got it. Who, who's in this? Mm. Meryl Streep, Uma Thurman. I like Uma Thurman unless she's under Tarantino's direction. Uh, anything else, fucker? Push. I, I've been wanting to see because I saw a bunch of movie trailers, and I'm like, I want to see that. For those who like Jumper, but you don't really want to jump, you need to push. Well, fucking watch Push. Uh, we got the center, which we watched. Uh, uh, well, you seen it before, didn't you? Or did you? We saw a lot of bits and pieces on TV. TV. Yeah, where there was edge and shit like that. But uh, what I saw, I liked, and I was like, I remember watching the trailer thing. Like this is just a really bad Jonah Hill vehicle. Like I like Jonah Hill. I just felt like he was blowing up, and they're like, we gotta give him something to do. So here, uh, so I, don't know, I was just kind of like, eh. Uh, but we've caught some of it on TV. I was like, holy shit, this is pretty funny, actually. Kind of like an R-rated uh, Adventures in Babysitting with, with a guy. Uh, but yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. Watching it fully now. Taking. Yes, I like the first one. I'm not getting the second one, but I can get the third one. Uh, 27 Dresses. Uh, what happens in Vegas? I've actually seen this piece of shit. It's fucking horrible. Cameron like Diaz it. needs to be killed. And, you know, really. I want to get better than the other one. And Ashton Kutcher falls into that hole. Like the guy can act. He's a good actor. Watch Bar. Like I don't care what the naysayers say. You watch Butterfly Effect. You cannot tell me he does not put a damn good performance in there. A damn good, not just a good, a damn good performance. And then he does like a trillion of these shitty fucking movies right here, and you're just like, why? Well, I, know, I know why. We all know why. But still, come on. And I uh, went a date with Tad Hamilton. Mm. These are good movies except oh for your God. props that you pick out. Uh, all that I can really say about this one, A, this Josh Durham, Durham, Durhamel. It looks like Johnny Knoxville. Uh, and it has Topher Grace in it. I like Topher Grace. Topher Grace is very watchable. Uh, even in shit movies, so that's like that's the only thing. The only thing I like about American Ultra was Topher Grace. That was it. Everything else in that movie sucked. I'm sure it's gonna suck so much fucking dick. So, so yeah, there's our uh, DVD All update. Awesome updates, except for uh, two. So uh, yeah, anything else to add? Mm, uh, my top three is up. You have check it out. Check it out. Anything else? No. Nope. Thanks, sweetie. Thanks for raping me for raping me visually for you the next. You too. I gently force my way in with movies. This um, is just a brutal prison rape right here. No. All right. Well, until next time.